many people have no food to eat in Africa. So we need to have to increase the productivity of crops. We need to have to increase the production of the agricultural sector. So the China government is specifically helping the African countries to increase the technology of the agricultural sector, to increase the production in the agricultural sector. So I think the Chinese government is doing very great on the agricultural sector to, to collaborate with African countries to increase the technology transfer. I'm happy to know that in uh, some countries in Africa, the, the, the China Africa, I mean China Agricultural uh, Academy of Science is, uh, is now working together and also uh, China Academy of Tropical Agricultural Sciences, CATAS is also having uh, institution, uh, some uh, projects on the continent in the area of uh, rice with the Chung Chao technology as well as uh, propagation of uh, cassava. Cassava is the strategic uh, all weather resilient uh, crop, the extreme weather resilient crop and uh, just making value addition, production, improved production uh, is, is, is taking shape and I'm happy that this is thanks to this cooperation. The Chinese government has invested hugely uh, in capacity building for Africa. So now there are many more African students who are coming to China to study, not just in agricultural sciences, but in all disciplines of, 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 of knowledge. Yeah, the computer science, medicine, agriculture, social sciences, the financial sector. We like to know how are the Chinese, how, how did China make this miracle of its rapid development? That has to do with economics, it's got to do with finance, it's got to do with uh, what I'll call uh, disciplined implementation of policy.